Hey everybody, um, I actually just got uh, permission uh, to hit an old 1830s home and I am uh, pretty excited. Uh, the, the weather is pretty cold here in Ohio though, but I, I'm pretty confident that the ground is, uh, the ground is not going to be frozen, but I have some gloves so I'll wear those. But uh, man, I got I got my camo on. I'm not going to be hunting the woods. He even warned me that uh, deer hunting season obviously is going on, and uh, you know there there's a, a huge amount of woods that are available to detect. Uh, so I'm going to hit those, but I'm certainly not going to do that today. Um, all right. So if I find anything, which guy, I hope I find something because I've been in kind of slump. I will definitely let you know. All right, so I just arrived at the site, and uh, I want to show you what an amazing property uh, this is. Um, it's it's really old, like I said, uh, and I just want to share it with you. So if you take a look here, um, we have uh, obviously some nice tree front over here. Sorry for the wind, an old barn. And uh, some old vineyard, little mini vineyard there. <laughs> um, but uh, the barn is over 140 years old, he said. Uh, all of this property, this entire property, I am able to metal detect. Now, but I look, at, look at the yardage here. I mean, this is crazy how much yardage I have here to be able to metal detect. Um, I mean, I don't even know where to begin. But man, what a beautiful, beautiful property. Okay, my first coin. Uh, it's not silver, but you can see it down in here. Well, I don't know if you can see it, but I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it out. And uh, definitely a Lincoln. And, uh, and definitely a Weedy. Okay, I'll clean it up and let you know what the date is. All right, well, I got a 1345. Uh, 1445 right next literally literally right next to uh, that wheat penny so I'm gonna go ahead and dig it and uh, probably around four or five inches I'm sitting right I'm right next to a tree in the front yard so I don't know now it didn't it didn't give me a really high um, tone it gave me a like a regular quarter tone like a clad quarter but we'll see Okay, be down in here. Let's see. Hopefully something pops out. Something pops out silver. I don't see anything yet. There it is. Looks like another another weedy. Yep, definitely another weedy. Let's see, I can get a date on this one. Uh, 19, 1919, I think. Okay, well, on to the next. All right, so 1344, 1244, and it is giving me a higher tone. It's a little further away from uh, the, um, the two, not too much, probably about 15 feet away from the two wheat pennies that I got. Oh good, it's hitting pretty hard here, so we'll see if I could get something out of this. Nope, definitely not. It is another weedy. So I got another uh, signal here, and uh, it's it's kind of an iffy signal, but I like digging iffy signals. Uh, I can hear kind of a high squeak in between uh, some iron signals or some uh, threshold phasing out. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try this. Usually I'm really lucky with these signals. Not a lot of guys or girls will dig these, but I don't think it's a very deep signal. So I'll be real careful here because there's a root right next to where I'm digging. Nope. All right, fast forward. Oh my God, what is, come on baby. Oh, it's a Washington Corridor. No, but it's silver. 
Yeah! <laughs> oh, I thought it was going to be something huge. All right, well, I was excited. And you, you, uh, you heard that. Damn, I get excited really easily if you watch my videos. But I'll take it. A 1946 silver quarter. All right, on to the next. All right, just got a cool find. And uh, I didn't film the dick because it was showing me uh, a quarter signal at a couple inches. But I don't know if this is... You guys could probably tell me. Could you please do me a favor and in the comment box below let me know what you think this is uh, I can't get any writing on it but it's old I don't know how old but tell me what you think that is alright uh, found another coin I honestly don't know what it is I can't identify it but uh, it might be a uh, good old Abe but it just looks really strange. Really, really, really weird. Crusty Weedy. Alright, I'll put this on my the end of it. 1918. Alright, wow. so I hit a little Weedy spill. I got three. And I'm still getting a signal. Down in here. I hope they're silver. Um, so I'll keep the camera on in case something comes up. All right, uh, number four. Number four. All right. Number five. All right, weedy. Weedy number. We do number six. Well, I got uh, I got a total of six weedies, and uh, I have a nail, knit junk, and another nail right here. All right. And I dug something, and it it's I think it's a token. And I have no idea what it could be, but it looks like it's a little pirate. That's pretty cute. And here's the reverse, and I don't know what it says. Oh, it's got a lot of writing on it. So here, let's see what it is. Sorry. Um, so I'll have to clean this up and let you know what it is. It could be modern, but I don't know. It's super cool. Oh, it's upside down. Super cool. All right, see ya. All right, still with my my iPhone and man I got this this was way down and gave me a signal like a quarter and I just kept digging it thinking oh maybe it was a largey but I don't know this is like a porcelain I don't know it's, I don't know it's porcelain uh, it might be an old shower head that just broke off or something with water I see some threads here yeah, I'm not sure if anybody knows again what this one is. Yeah, huh, wow, let me know. All right, I found something really small. At first, I thought it was a half dime. I honestly don't know what it is. And uh, I have no idea, but it's got this shield on the front. Oh, I think it's play money, actually. This really, let's see. I think it's play money, I'm not sure. That's cool. I like finding plain money. All right, I got my camera back, and I was I hope that uh, the uh, the iPhone did okay for the videos the prop hell probably did better than the camera I have but um, I'm gonna walk back here uh, to the uh, the old barn here and take a look at it um, it they said that the history on it is that there are stalls in here because recently well not recently like a couple generations ago recently uh, 
they put uh, stalls in here for horses so there were a bunch of horses in here and um, yeah I'm, I'm kind of just checking it out I'll, I'll show you too but uh, it's kind of cool it's kind of cool in there let me let me see if I could peek in here I hope there isn't uh, any animals or anything in there but I hope you could see in there okay and uh, what's cool is that if you look all the way down there just so cool um, I mean so cool there's just uh, they own the whole land over here all the way back I'll try to do some research to see if uh, if there's anything any historic stuff that happened back in there you know we all love our old picnic groves and stuff like that but um, but uh, I never I didn't get a chance to come back here and detect um, that's pretty cool. It's a pretty big rock. <laughs> I didn't get a chance to detect back here, but, um, but it's just, it's pretty peaceful. Wow. Never thought it would, how peaceful it would be back here, but, um, so, ah, oh, man. Here's the, uh, old brick so there's a pretty big tear out um, don't know what uh, have no idea what structure was back here but pretty cool old tin shed was here yeah these are old I don't know how old though I don't see square nails on it but maybe inside there is all right, so um, I hope that uh, I hope the video was good today, and um, I'm not gonna do any weird intros anymore. If you looked at the video uh, that I just made beforehand, no weird intros anymore. So uh, that's about it. All right, uh, winter is coming, as they say. So. Hopefully you guys can all get out there that live in the northern states and uh, find something before the white stuff comes. Alright, happy hunting everyone.